Um, I look absolutely terrible. I'm very ill, but I just read this post and I want to read it to you. This is a perf this post, this person's story is a perfect example of how people end up being destroyed by psychiatry. This is the narrative for so many. This is not my, the details of my story. My story is not a story of sexual abuse and yada yada. But this is a perfect example of how someone is struggling, struggling from complex PTSD. They're probably not diagnosed with complex PTSD. How people are not properly diagnosed, they're misdiagnosed, and then put on a half a dozen drugs that prevent them from getting well and becoming what they could be and prevents them from rising up out of the situation that they're in and leads people into disability and not becoming who they could be because they're so medicated and the medications are making them sick. When I read you this post, this is the pathway how young traumatized children have their future and their present stolen from them. This is the pathway. And <laughs> and so often people remain uneducated and they just can't climb out of the quicksand that they're in. And the families are delusional and the families will blame them. This is the pathway. Uh, trigger warning of mentioning of sexual assault. My mom put me through hell, hell throughout my childhood. She got she got with several men who abused me, and stayed with them while they abused me. She put me in mental hospitals for no reason. She abandoned me and sent me to with to live with relatives. I decided to write this. I'll post the pictures of what she has been posting on Facebook. Keep in mind, I'm currently living with her because I'm on disability and can't afford to live on my own. Currently, right now, I have no other options besides being homeless. So please, I would appreciate your advice. So this is a little girl from being, who went from being molested, taken to psychiatry because she was struggling to deal with the reality of the molestation not getting the help, getting misdiagnosed by psychiatry. I bet you this girl is on a half a dozen drugs. And I'm going to ask her, how many medications is she currently on? I bet you a million dollars. She's been, I bet you anything. She's been misdiagnosed as bipolar. I bet you she's been told she has a biochemical imbalance. She looks like she's in her 40s. This traumatized little girl has had years stolen from her and is on disability and remains with the person who failed her. But the fact that she's on all these medications and never gave her a chance, in my opinion, to get her way out of the quicksand, to get her out of the complex trauma. It's, it's disgusting. I see this path, it's almost a blueprint. This is the blueprint of getting destroyed by the medical community. Misdiagnosis and polydrugging and you may remain stuck.